Hello on Friday the 4th of November and our opening prayer for today. Lord, you give us life, you give us love, you give us yourself. Help us to give our lives, our love and ourselves to you and to others. Through Christ who died and rose again for us. Amen. Our readings today are from Revelation chapter 3, verses 14 to 22, and Daniel chapter 3, verses 19 to 30. Towards the beginning of the book of Revelation, there are messages for seven of the early church fellowships in Asia Minor. When I read them, I always think that they are a little bit like my annual ministry conversation. How are things going? How are they really? Now my conversation takes place with one of the senior members of staff in the diocese, but in the case of these churches, God is letting them know how he sees things. And arguably it's a message to the church in Laodicea, which sticks in most people's minds. And that's because they are described as being lukewarm, which means that God considers their faith to be insipid. It seems that the people in Laodicea have a comfortable lifestyle and that things are sorted out to their satisfaction. So God isn't really being given a look in. They don't see a need for God. Their expression of faith is far more a token gesture than wholeheartedly following Jesus. But there's a big issue. How will they respond as and when their faith is challenged? It's a really interesting question. But that situation in Laodicea is also a very stark contrast from the events that we read about in today's reading from the book of Daniel. Now Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego can't be accused of token lip service to God. For them there isn't a huge grey area. It's a straight choice between God and Nebuchadnezzar. And they are crystal clear about where they stand and who they worship. They realise that worshipping God alone will have consequences for them, but despite this, they are not prepared to compromise their faith. We come to our next prayer for today. Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace come, we pray that you stir in our hearts the true love of peace and guide with your pure and peaceable wisdom those who lead the nations of the earth, that in peace your kingdom may go forward until the whole earth is filled with the knowledge of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our prayer points for today. And it's framed around the fact that I think that those readings are a reminder to us just not to continue our lives ignoring God and important issues around. So firstly, let's pray about environmental issues and the reversal of climate change. Pray about the gulf between rich and poor people and pray that we follow God's way of justice. The Lord's Prayer, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but 
deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I know that some of you may well be holding early bonfire night events tonight. And if you are holding those celebrations, do please take care. And I will bless you. To Jesus the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God be honour, glory and power for ever and ever. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and remain.